Uh, over here you can see we have the different image files that I put online. They're the transparent background PNG files. Uh, so first thing I'm going to do is grab this guy, bring him into the scene, grab the translational tool. And for those of you who didn't know, this corner dot right here, if you were to just grab this and try to size your character, you can end up making them out of proportion. Uh, you can undo that by a simple Control Z. It'll go back to normal. But if you hold down the Shift key at the same time that you click on this dot and move him, he will size proportionally. And if you go past the center, he'll flip in the other direction, which is very useful when setting up your scenes. All right, so I'm going to grab um, just the eyes. Grab another one. Perfect. Um, and the closed eyelids. And we'll put them over the head. All right, now they're already sized right. So we can go down here to our animation. And let's pick a keyframe. Actually, starting out, we're going to create keys. Now you can just grab this top dot, right click, create keys. Now we can go over here and set our depth for our closed eyes. Right click, set behind the head. So as you can see in the first frame, uh, actually it doesn't matter what frame we're on, his eyes are open. Now let's go a couple of seconds in here to frame 60. Right click, create keys, set in front of, oops, see we don't want to do that. Set in front of the farthest forward eyes. And now we have a blinking frame. Let's uh, leave them blinking for a few frames. Right click. Create keys, set behind the head. So now if we play back our animation, three seconds into it, we'll have our character blink. All right. 